Welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kingston, welcome to the heart, dare I say it, the centre of the parliamentary triangle, welcome to the shores of Lake Burley Griffin, welcome to the pinnacle of living in Canberra where very shortly one buyer here today will have the opportunity to reward themselves and their family for all those years of hard work. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special LJ Hooker marketing event where the buyer amongst you today, I urge yourselves to make this exclusive and exciting buying opportunity your own. By way of introduction, my name is Jason Roses and I proudly represent LJ Hooker in Tuggeranong for the marketing of 8 of 67 Air Street in Kingston. I'd like to thank all the members from LJ Hooker in Tuggeranong for their attendance here this morning. In particular, the marketing agent, that of course being Mario San Francesco of our office. Mario is one of our leading agents. In just a few moments, I'll run through the auction terms and conditions, cover the contract document, provide a description and the locale in which to buy, the bidders, it's over to you for the chance and opportunity to raise your bids on what I would have thought represents an exciting and outstanding buying opportunity in the Canberra marketplace here this morning. The auction terms and conditions, well, they're of course standard in the ACT. They have been on display this morning for your perusal. They are included in the contract document. However, I will cover a few pertinent points of those terms and conditions. The auctioneer may make one bid for the seller of the property at any time during the auction. Each person bidding must be registered onto the bidder's record. The auctioneer may refuse any bid. The auctioneer may decide the amount by which the bidding is to be advanced. The auctioneer may withdraw the property from sale at any time. And the auctioneer may refer a bid to the seller at any time before the end of the auction. If there is a dispute about a bid, the auctioneer is the sole arbiter and the auctioneer's decision is final. Most importantly, if you are here intending on making a bid, each and every time you make a bid, please raise your bidder registration card high in the air for me to identify. And of course, the buyer must sign the contract and pay the deposit on the fall of a hammer. The contract document well, of course, the instrument under which we sell today has been prepared by the Law Society of the ACT. It legally describes the property as being in Block 8 and 9, Section 48, here, of course, in the division of Kingston. 2.7 million. Sir? Sorry, 1.7. I appreciate your bidding. I'd love to uh, accept your bid now. If I can just run through the rest of the contract document, if I may, sir, and then perhaps when I call for a bid, I'd love for you to be my opening bid. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. And of course, it's commonly known, ladies and gentlemen, as 8 of 67 Air Street, Kingston. The stakeholder being LJ Hooker Tugbanong's trust account. There is no tenancy subject to the sale here today and is offered to all as vacant possession. The inclusions, well, they are, of course, anything of a fixed and permanent nature as you've inspected. Fixed floor coverings, light fittings and window treatments. The date of completion is on or before 30 days from the date he rolled and the deposit amount being 10% of the purchase price here today, the balance of that payable on the settlement, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, before I continue any further, are there any questions in relation to the terms and conditions, contract document, or the auction process here today that I can be of assistance of? Lovely. I, I have a question. Oh, yes, ma'am. I've heard in the media that there is some talk about reserves being disclosed at auctions. Are you intending to do this? If not, why not? I appreciate your question, ma'am, and, and thank you. It's a very good question, in fact. So, uh, we're not disclosing the reserve. In the auction terms and conditions of, I guess, in, in the practice of real estate, we don't disclose the vendor's reserve price. Uh, that's only exclusive to the vendor, uh, the agent and the auctioneer myself, but hopefully that doesn't impede you in making an offer here today. Hope that helps, ma'am. Any other questions, ladies and gentlemen? Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, Lake Burley Griffin, undoubtedly Canberra's greatest monument and most popular attraction. For years it has often been 
the walk, the serene walkways for locals and tourists. In fact, it has often been referred to as the backdrop of the national capital, the exclusive residence for the Governor General. 48 years ago, Lake Burley Griffin was founded and constructed and completed. And so today is the day you have that opportunity to purchase on the shores, in fact only metres from the waterway known as Lake Burley Griffin. An opportunity that is only afforded to a select few. Perhaps your journey to this property wasn't like the others. It may have started in the bustling hub known as the Kingston Shops. Perhaps you're at the Kingston Grind Coffee House having a latte with your wife and then you noticed the property guide staring right at you. It's the type of home that makes it on the front page of every major property guide. Property of the week on every website. 1.7 million. Sir, I love your enthusiasm. I'd love to take your bid. If I can just finish and then I'm happy when I call for a bid, sir, I'll take the bid there. Thanks again for your enthusiasm there, sir. Don't go anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, where were we? The coffee shop. You've picked up the property guide. You start to flick through. The pictures immediately make you smile. They paint a thousand words. It's got everything you've been looking for. Three bedrooms, four bathrooms, a triple car garage, a balcony space of 110 square metres, the living 223 <coughs> square metres to be exact, a modern gourmet kitchen with Gagano appliances, one that your wife's always dreamed of. And so as you make the decision to venture down to the Pearl Apartments, you can't help but notice everything you've heard about the complex is true. It exudes luxury. The quality of the, const of the construction has been precisely done. And as you venture through the private lift out onto the apartment space, all the living areas are bathed in sunlight. You can't help but notice the expansive views. You'll make your way through onto the balcony, the waters of Lake Burley Griffin and views as far as the eye can see. And of course, to the left, you can't help but notice the superbly constructed pool that surrounds the complex. Imported tiles, blue mosaics straight from Italy, beautiful landscape gardens, superb views I might add, and that's the walking robe of the master bedroom there. And of course, the gardens that surround the pool have been precisely designed and landscaped and of course finished. Adjoining that, of course, is a modern five-star gym facilities with your very own sauna. And as you've almost decided it's the property for you, you walk inside and you see your wife standing in the very same spot that our owners stood when they decided to buy the home, in the lounge room, overlooking Lake Burley Griffin, and as she turns to you and smiles, immediately you know this is the home for you. So I urge you buyers, if this is the property for you, you're here and registered, make your bids loud and clear. Come here with excitement, for there is only one property like this in Kingston, and I'd love it to be yours. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll call now for an opening bidder offer. Any figure, any number at all, happy to start away. Sir, perhaps for your enthusiasm, love for you to start. If you like. 1.7 million. Happy to take that bid, sir. Bidder number one in a good position to be in. 1.7 million from there. I would have thought straight to 1.8. Yes, ma'am. 100. 100, 1.8. Bidder number three now, sir. 1.9 if you like. 50. 150, 1850 now we've got man, 1.9 if you like. Bidder number one at 1,850,000 now. 850 is the big man, 900 if you like. Bidder number three at 1,850,000 now. 25. 25, happy to take that man, 875 now, sir. Uh, nine if you like. At 1,875,000. Bidder number three. Hi, sir, how are you? Sir, it's 1,875,000. Would you like 45, to register? 45, 45, 45. Have you registered, sir? Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Can I see your bidder registration card, please? 
Bid bid number five. Thank you, sir. Was that another 25? 25. 1.9. There's the bid. Bid number five at 1.9 now, ma'am. Make it 2 million. Round me up if you like. An exciting opportunity here today, buyers. At 1.9, there's the bid. Bid number five. First call, 1.9. Second call now. Third and final call at 1.9. No further bidding or offers. Ma'am, you sure? You're definitely out? 100%. Sir, at the back, you sure? At 1.9, there's the bid. Sir, I appreciate your bidding. And I'm just going to uh, site there. So we've got our reserve. Haven't quite yet reached it, but I will make a vendor bid, sir, of 2.1 million. The bid's with me now. Happy to let you in, sir, if you like. The bid's with me at 2.1 million. Ma'am, happy to let you in for another 50 if you like. Yes, ma'am. 25 at 2 million 125 thousand now. Have to make it 150 no, now. 125, another 25, 150. We've got at 2 million 150 thousand now. Yes, ma'am. I, I have a question. Yes. Uh, I've just got off the plane to come to this auction and drove past the building. I was alarmed to see there's a building going on in front of it. Can you please assure me I won't lose my view of the lake as a result of that construction? Ma'am, obviously that construction is taking place. Not sure when the completion date is. However, I take it that you've made your own inquiries in regards to the, the height of the construction there, and hopefully that won't impede you on making a buying decision here today. You've been with me from the start, and I'd love for you to buy the home. All right, now, appreciate, love your question. Any other questions, feel free to ask away, ladies and gentlemen. So we've got the bid at 2,150,000 now. Happy to let someone in for 25 if you like. 2.2, thank you, man. I'll take that at 2,200,000 now. There's the bid at 2.2 now. Your bid of registration card there, please. Bid at number four, yes, ma'am? 10,000. 10,000 now. We've got 2.2 now on 10 at 2,210,000 now. Is there another 10? Happy to let someone in. Two tens the bid. At 2,210,000, sir? 25,000. 25 now. At 2,235,000, there's the bid. 235, we've got. Another 15,000, make it 250, a round number of that. At 2,235,000, there's the bid with you, sir. I'll cite your bid of registration card if I can, please, sir. Every time you make that bid, bid number five, thank you, sir. At 2,235, yes, ma'am, another 15? 30. Another 30. At 2,265,000, the bid's with you, ma'am, bid number four. 265 is the bid. At 2,265, sir, I've heard you say it's beautiful. Why not another bid? Let you in for another 15, perhaps. At 2,265,000 now. 15,000. First call, 270. At 2,270,000 now, there's a bid at 270. Another 30, if you like, man, round me up to 300. At 2,270,000 now, there's the bid. How to take 2.3? First call, at 2,270,000 now. Yes, ma'am. 70, we've got 90 is the bid on the call at 2,290,000 now, ma'am. 22. 22. I thought you'd do it to me, ma'am. The bid's there at 2.29. Happy to let you in now at uh, 2,312,000. Was that correct, ma'am? Appreciate your bid. 312. I knew you'd do it to me. The bid is there at 2.312. Want another bid? Sir. Mathematically, I'd love a round figure. <laughs> Another 15,000, that really didn't help, sir. The bid... Ma'am, can I just confirm your bid there? At bid number four, at 312,000, sir, was that 15? That was 15,000, I think, yeah. 15, okay, it's uh, 37 we've got. At 3 million, 200 and... Uh, three, can I confirm your bid there, please, ma'am? <laughs> 312 now. I'll take that, sir, your bid there. 672. That's 3,227,000 now we've got. 2 million, that's correct, sir. The 2,327,000, there's the bid with you, sir. At 3,227,000. We're getting confusing now. Yes, ma'am? And 1,000? 28. At 2,328,000. 8,000, sorry. Another 8,000, ma'am. At 2 million. Man, we're getting very confusing, and I love it. It creates the excitement. Another thousand at uh, at two million three hundred and thirty-four thousand thirty-nine. Is that the bid? Can I confirm that? Eight thousand. Eight thousand on three million three hundred and twenty-seven thousand. Is that eight, ma'am? Eight thousand dollars. My bid is eight thousand. Okay, three two seven. Now we've got eight. It's three three. 
Five. Thank you, ma'am. At 2,335,000. Yes, ma'am? Five. 2.4. It's times like these I wish I had a calculator. At 2.4 million now, there's the bid. Bidder number four. At 2.4 million now, there's the bid. First call, 2.4. Second call now at 2.4 million. Third and final call at 2.4 million now. Sir? Yes. Sir. I expect uh, that you'll be up to date on proposals found in the minimum housing standards bill. Are you not? Sorry, sir, can you repeat the question? Are you up to date with the Minimum Housing Standards Bill? In, in respect to what, sir? Minimum Housing Standards Bill. All, all the relevant information you require, sir, in order to make a buying decision, I'd hope's in that contract. Is that going to impede your decision here today, no, sir? Well, I just want to know, uh, I, I, I might need to rent this property out. And right. I was wondering if you could assure me that the property will meet the bill's proposed standards. The bill, sir, it's been passed by ACPA. It is a completed development, so I'd like to think all the approvals and all the applications have been passed straight through ACPA. So certainly, you're not going to have an, an issue renting the property. Does that help answer your question, sir? Fantastic. We're at 2.4 million now with you, ma'am. Happy to take a rise of 10. At 2.4 now, we've got first call at 2,400,000 now. 2,354,000. 2 million? Three hundred, ma'am. We're at two point four now. There's the bid. I'm happy to take a rise of ten if you like. What's your bid there, ma'am? Well, I'm out. Two point four. I'll give you that. Thank you, sir. At two point four one, there we've got a two million four hundred and one thousand now. There's the bid. Can I cite your registration card, please? Thanks again, sir. Bidder number one at two four zero one now. There's the bid. Bidder number five. Five again. Another five is six, two million four hundred and six thousand now. There's a bid, sir. Make it ten if you like. Four oh six is the bid. First call at two million four hundred and six thousand now. Second call we've got. Third and final call at two million four hundred and six thousand now. All done. Yeah. Sir, have to take it. Four oh seven, ma'am, four oh eight if you like. At two million four hundred and seven thousand now. Eight then. You sure? At two million four hundred and seven thousand now. There's the bid, sir. Cite again your registration card, please, sir. Every time you make a bid, bid number five, four oh seven. There's the bid. First call, second call. Two thousand, man. Nine. We've got seven and nine. Two million four hundred and nine thousand, sir. Sir, I appreciate your bids. Make another thousand, perhaps. Don't walk up just yet. We've got two million four hundred and nine thousand, sir. You've been with me from the start. There's the bid with you, ma'am, out the back at 2,409,000 now. First call, second call, third and final call at 2,409,000. Sir, you definitely left me. Cut, he's gone into the bathroom. That's all right. Thank you, ma'am. All done, all finished. Sir, out the back, you're definitely out. You sure can't tempt you in for another one? The bid is there at 2,409,000 now. First, second, third and final call. All done, all finished. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just seek some final instructions from my vendors if I can, please. Ladies and gentlemen, there's the call that I was talking about. The bid out the back at 2,409,000. I'll call it three times, ladies and gentlemen. There's no further bids or offers. We will be selling here to, uh, this morning. First call we've got, second call now. Third and final call at 2,409,000. All done. All finished. Sold. Congratulations. <laughs>